Hello guys, I'm Derke, uh, doing aim routine today. I'm here in Japan in Crazy Raccoon office. First of all, we're gonna go through my warm up. So what I'm doing is I just put all the bots in. I jump on this ledge uh, over here, so I get like more mouse movement. So yeah, then I'm just like, just one tap in the bots slowly. I suggest you to take it slow, so you're more precise and then just speed up at your own pace. So you're not just like randomly shooting everybody. And then you just take like good, three to five minutes with this kind of stuff. Then when I'm doing this, just one taps. I also like to stop and then to like get into triangle, I would say it. So I just identify like three bots. Okay, this is a good example, like three bots here. And I just want to kind of like do three quick one taps and just like try to kill them as fast as possible with that. Just kind of like this, but faster. So I do it slowly and then I just take the bots kind of. Yeah, then I also go on second mode, which is just kill 100 bots. Then I go on the edge on the left usually, just uh, kind of like spray or burst the bots in. And then that's kind of like my warm up and range then. Next are my tips to hold the angles. So what I like usually is like if I hold a corner, I don't aim like right next to the corner. I aim a bit, I take a bit of space here or they will just like uh, run PQ. So you kind of need to be ready and take a, a bit of space in the angle too. What I usually do is like, I try to back out of a corner as much as possible because in these games, it feels like the person who's more far away from this kind of corner sees the like person who's peeking first. The next step is kind of like gun control. That's what uh, pros usually do. Uh, like most of the pros do. They take like fewer bullets and they try to be more precise and just kill uh, enemies with fewer bullets. So you should learn like taking fewer bullets, just like bursting, especially if you're long range, because then it's easier to kill multiple enemies rather than just one with spraying. If you're just like long range, you just take fewer bullets kind of like bursting. So some people take two to three bullets, some take a bit more. Uh, the next is just spray. Uh, I mean, I spray a lot of times because usually I entry and I, I just need to get the entry or the trade. It doesn't matter for me. With crouching, some people say it's bad, some people say it's good. Like sometimes it, it can help you, but I think you should kind of like create your own style where, where you can also like crouch and also not to. Because uh, for me, if I know there's like multiple targets, uh, I usually don't crouch because what it does, it, it, you cannot move. And if you take longer, to kill one person, then the second will just trade you easily because you cannot move and they can just run. And also holding corners. I don't like crouching and holding corners because if somebody will Ferrari pick me, I cannot move. But if I stand still and they pick me, I still have time to kind of like do a quick strafing just so I don't get killed while I'm standing still. Uh, the next tip is just like take your time uh, before shooting because a lot of uh, low ELO players, they kind of like start shooting and then they try to drag it on the person, which is like, in some situations it might be good, but it's not really that reliable because then you need to rely a lot on your spray and it gets really hard. So take your time to like put your crosshair on the head and just get that good one tap for a burst. Uh, the next tip is how to kind of like move, jiggle peek, uh, jump peek uh, against like different types of opponents. Usually you want to jump peek almost every corner, especially if you know there's an AWP and you don't really want to give that kill to an enemy. You should like always kind of like jump peek, check if there's an AWP, if you know there is any or just a turret, maybe a trap. Yeah, you just jump peek, quickly check or maybe there's an AWP and you don't take the peek or he shoots and then you can actually take the angle and wait for him to repeat. Then there's like jiggle picking that you can also do against ops or just like to learn traps. Kind of like same with jump picking, but I think jump picking is way safer. Another one is just wide swing Ferrari peak. That's what most people do. If I have a teammate next to me, I'm gonna wide swing and I'm gonna take as much space as possible. So if we're like picking from this side, I'm gonna go really wide and my teammate is gonna follow me. So it's like they're taking the, all of the like aim like the crosshair on me, so they cannot kill the second guy that much easier. And we can just trade out or I, I get a kill and we just 
take much more space. Next step is like strafing and just the importance of movement during a gunfight. Usually you want to strafe like kind of like after every burst you just do the basic ADAD and just kind of like make it harder for them to shoot at you and you can also just like reset yourself because if you stand still two enemies pick you or even one you're standing still if, if they're gonna wide swing it's easy for them to kill you while if you just like burst and then strafe they need to readjust uh, as much as you do. Uh, next topic is like crouch praying, if it's bad to do or not. Usually you can see me doing probably the most out of any pro players. Like I, I like to just like put my ass uh, down the floor and just like start spraying a lot. Uh, one, because I got happy that from a different game, uh, CS. Uh, second, it's just like, it's easier for me to spray and do the gun control and sometimes as an entry, I wide swing and I start crouching. It's because first they have to like readjust the aim and then I also crouch. And when I crouch and my teammate peeks next to me, it's like I'm I'm gonna hear while my teammate is here. So first thing they is like they need to move horizontally the mouse and also vertically. So it's like if for example I'm picking the center and I'm crouching and there's a teammate next to me, most likely we're just gonna trade it out. Uh, in some situations it's bad, again, like if you're holding an angle, just crouching and waiting for someone, it might be bad, probably 90% of the situations, depending on your position. So just depending on the situations, how you feel it, mostly I think in this game you want to make it as hard as possible to kill you, so like just strafing and adding crouch to it, sometimes it's, it's really good. And then on long distance fights, you never really want to crouch because that's easier to hit you in the head. And also if they just hit you on long distance while you're crouching, you're never gonna move up back again because it slows you down and it's also long distance, so it's they don't have to adjust the mouse as much. Thank you guys for watching. This was my kind of like aim routine and just for tips on how to aim, how to peek. Uh, use the Fnatic app and also thank you for watching. Leave the comments on uh, thoughts on it and yeah, thank you.